Hi my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to some fresh F1 manager and our Aston Martin career mode. Um, Things have been going very, very well. It was uh, sort of the halfway point last episode. It's linked above. Um, yeah, I still, I'm still not over it, I'm going to be honest with you. Go watch it if you've not done so to find out exactly what I'm on about. But yeah, it's into race 12 today. It's the French Grand Prix. This is Ocon's home Grand Prix. And I would like to try to get him in a position where he could do well. Um, we're going to have a couple of new parts for this race, which is really good. But we do have a regulation vote and we're going to crack on with that right now. So let's jump on in and find out what the, what the potential changes are for next year. So we're going to say no to all this and we're going to say no to this as well because we just don't need it. So let's find out what the sporting changes are. Ah, oh, this time. Um, right, so uh, we propose an overhaul to the scoring system that offers greater points overall, covers the top 10 finishing positions. Please see the proposal. We've literally only just changed the way things are scored this year, and now they want to change it back. Double points for last race. That's new, though. And a fastest lap bonus. I kind of liked it like that. We would be so far ahead, by the way, if the points were, were like this. Um, I'm going to vote for it. I, I preferred it as it was. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a big fan of how things are at the minute. Right. The chassis is done. So we're going to dive on this um, straight away. So we've got six days to the race. So we're going to have to emergency build probably all of them. But we've got the cash. Um, we're very cash rich at the moment. We really, really are. With uh, 62 million in the bank. It just shows you the difference that it makes when you're doing well because you can just acc accrue so much more where uh, bonus is concerned. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to push forward one more day, get this done. We'll produce this stuff uh, and then we'll throw it all on the car as well. So I think what I'm going to do with the suspension, I'm going to do four as an emergency and then... Um, We'll do uh, a couple. Um, that's just normal. So yeah, let's get that done. But we'll install that on the car. Really, what I should be looking at is how much of a difference that's going to make. So yeah, it's quite a big difference. It is quite a big difference. Um, and then the... Uh, chassis so we're going to go from that to that so it's really it's only really helping the high speed we are lacking in some areas you know we are really lacking in some areas right so the changes the points are not going to change yeah so basically, I think the teams that voted against it last time have all voted for it. But yeah, everyone everyone likes the points as they are. Um, uh, the simulator is in poor condition. Well, it's a good job we've got the money because three point eight million is a lot. We've got the car test center that's um, currently being improved. That's going to help with this kind of development here. And then we need to crack on with all the other stuff, basically. Um, all of this is fine. Hospitality is upgrading. That's going to be the last bit. And then this, this page here is done. I'm not going to be doing the scouting. So we can concentrate on that once all that's done. Right, race prep. Um, I think we just go for the usual. I'm going to go fifth. Just because I don't think we are the fastest car out there anymore. Fastest lap, I don't really think we need to. And then finishing streak. Um, I'm going to do two cars inside the tour. Yeah, I'm going to do two cars inside the top six. For four races? Oh, God, that's quite a risk. But you know what? It's a risk worth taking. It really is. Um quite a lot of money there on offer it's Grand Prix time here in Le Castellet the very first horseless carriage race was organized in France in 1894 since then well, the carriages have only gotten faster 
For the Grand Prix here, Paul Ricard boasts a fine collection of low, medium and high speed corners. The seam curve is taken at breakneck speed, right before heavy braking at Bose. This is an all-rounder test for cars and drivers alike. We're about halfway through the season now, and there's still plenty of time for everything to change. All eyes are on the teams and how they tackle the rest of the year. Stay right here, because we're just getting started. Right, so a dry race weekend. Um, obviously, the car parts knowledge is going to be low. Um, as, part, as far as the car parts, right, so for the race, our parts actually don't look too bad. Um, so that's good to know. Just got to hope I've got enough crap boy uh, stuff to put on for the practice. Right, gang, uh, we are ready to go qualifying. Um, 87, 92, I actually think I did a pretty good job. Um, they were really, really struggling going into the last practice, to be honest with you. I'm just run wondering where he's weak. Just there. Uh, yeah, that's that's not gonna work. Yeah, I guarantee if you get it on that line, that's gonna be decent. Anyway, we'll leave, we'll uh, revert that back. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it. I think. And oh, he's just great across the board. Okay, um, science is still faster than knock-on though, so just shows you. Right, um, I didn't change either driver, yeah, I've left it. Yeah. I think 87 and 92 are pretty good to be fair, and I think they should be good enough for us really to be going out qualifying on and doing a good job. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to crack on with it, I think. Um, we'll just see how we get on this race weekend i really want ocon to have a strong showing it's his home grand prix looks like we're going to get quite a bit of traffic here on the laps i really hope that we don't get that i hope it don't cost us too much and what a place for signs stuff to try and pass someone on the windy bit he's probably going to lose a fair bit of time there to be fair um goes across in a 129 um, Ocon, what are you going to manage? You're going to go across the line in a 129 as well, but slower than his teammate. Right, I don't think I'm going to run again. Um, currently P2 and P7. Ocon's one lap pace is so bad compared to Sainz, isn't it? But I just don't really feel like we need to run again. Um, I feel like we are more than safe. Bottas is currently in the knockout area, which is a big, big surprise. And I very much doubt he's going to be there come the end of qualifying. And yes, I was very much correct. Right, it's time for Q2. Um, I'm going to send out on a warm tyre first, um, as I always do and yeah let's just see let's just see shall we what we can muster up in qualifying two i reckon there's going to be quite some traffic to maneuver here for carlos signs i'm at a point where i'm starting to think that i do just go out way too early um and that's why my laps are always compromised. But Carlos Sainz, what's he going to do? What's he going to do? A 129.6. Um, so we now wait on Ocon to see what he's going to do. Can he go faster than his teammate? No, he can't. I think it was a 129.8. So again, going into Q, uh, going into the second part of this, I, I don't think I'm going to go out again. We're currently P1 and P4, two really good laps from the guys. Um, I say we just kind of save these tyres and just go for it. Basically, in the last part of qualifying, um, we literally would have set two laps <laughs> over the two sessions. Um, is uh, is how this is gonna sit, but but yeah, I just don't really feel like we we need to go out there. Although Ocon is dropping down the order, which is a worry. Um, no, well, it's a straight shootout for 
pole position between Sainz and Verstappen, in my opinion. So let's uh, let's see what happens, shall we? I think I'm going to just leave this a little longer than I usually would. So what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. That's all the cars out on track. So we're going to send Sainz, and then we're going to send. Lock on. And let's see what we can do with this first lap in this qualifying session, shall we? I would love to stick this thing on pole, ideally with Ocon, but I can't see that happening. He just he's got the better car setup of the two, but he just doesn't have the one lap pace, unfortunately. So it won't be him. Um signs is going to be the first one across the line for us. Uh, Verstappen with a 1.29.5 is so, so quick. But we beat it. Unbelievable from signs. That is an incredible lap. And Ocon, oh, he can only manage P7. That's what I'm saying. Look at the pace differential. They've got exactly the same car underneath them. If anything, Ocon's is better because he's set up better. But... Wow, he just can't muster up the same one lap pace that his teammate can. Right, we are going to go again in this session. Um, on the slightly worn tyre, but we are going to go again. Um, with both cars. We will have two sets of fresh soft tyre for the race, which is pretty incredible, to be honest like with you. What we need is for Ocon to go better. Um, signs, as long as no one else goes better, he's starting pole. Um, he's been incredibly quick in this qualifying sesh. But we really need the Frenchman to um, step up now, if he can. I don't think he's going to go better. Perez has gone quicker than Signs, So has Verstappen. They've pumped in ridiculously good laps. I can't see us going quicker than that. They are so fast, those laps so so fast and I just don't see signs doing it unfortunately um, it was a ridiculously good lap anyway to start with and yeah he can't go better but he starts P3 okay so it's time for the race everyone um, I'm all right with qualifying P3 and uh, P7 Ocon's uh, really got her up it in qualifying for me um, I think this is the strongest stuff I can put on yeah, it very much is. To be fair, we're 12 races in. I think we've managed that quite well. Um, the fact that we're only just getting to a point where we might have to change it. Right, so we are looking at a one-stop race here. Now, I, I very much doubt we can go soft medium. No, we can't. So I think it's going to be soft hard right, uh, running for us uh, in this one. Um, I think that makes the most sense, to be honest with you. Uh, although, I don't like that. Soft hard, run the hard at the beginning, soft at the end. I actually think the medium hard strategy makes more sense. No one will run that hard first. It doesn't make sense to run the hard first. I actually think this is going to be the better strategy. You know that? I think that's going to be the better strategy. So that's the one I'm going to go with. So we're going to go lap 22 with you. And we will go lap... We'll take it one lap longer, I think, with you. And we'll do that. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just up all this and that off the line. Yeah, up it all. We just get it off the line nice and quick. And then you just drop it back in, basically. So yeah, there isn't really too much to do other than go racing. It's sunny and bright as the drivers line up on the grid. Taking a look here at Carlos Sainz. Starting in third place, they're in a really good position for this race. Further back, we've got Esteban Ocon. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. And we're just moments away now. And here we go with the French Grand Prix. Come on. Come on. Get it off the line. Nice. Get it off the line. Nice. And 
Oh, I don't think go. we did. I think we reacted quite slow. So we might try and park that in front of the red ball if he can. No, he's going to lose a position here, unfortunately. And we're just going to have to drop both those tyres into standard running. Let's see if we can get it back. We might do with the ERS. Come on, don't lose that position. We'll drop yours into neutral, and we'll drop yours into neutral. Lovely. Right, okay. We didn't lose the position, and we even look like we might get the Ferrari. And Looks if we like can Aston do that, Martin that would be amazing. Come on. Come on. Get that Ferrari. Get that Ferrari. Oh, I don't think it's going to happen. No, it's not. We tucked in. Right, tyres. Yeah, mediums, hards. I'm really surprised to see some front runners running on hards. I'm just going to go back here a minute and see if we can make the most of uh, the medium tyre. Um, potentially get past Gasly on that hard tyre before it really comes into its own. Just got to pick the right spot. And... That would have been the right spot had Ocon had a bit more bottle. But for whatever reason, he doesn't. He's just, just not the same driver as Signs, unfortunately. He doesn't have the confidence in the overtake like his teammate. Um, Signs is still having a look at Perez here. And if he can stay in front of him... Oh, no, he didn't stay in front. It would have helped because he would have had the... DRS in this lap so yeah but not to be not to be still having a, a look though but um yeah I think again this race is uh, going to be one I lost in the in the pit stops this is going to be a relatively close race I would imagine um and yeah it's all about getting to those pit stops yeah I just got to see what happens in this one I really really have got to just see what happens in this one I'm going to try to lean on the ERS as well here. We, ju we just seem faster than that Ferrari at the moment. We're going to have DRS and ERS. And yes, that does get the job done. And that's what I wanted to do. Just get past that hard tyre runner. Get in touch with the medium tyre runners up front. Oh, and then he spins it. And we're going to be right at the back. And there's nothing we can do about it. Oh, d danger, 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 danger. This happens all the time. Look at him, he's still there, still stopped. Still stopped. When I see, the, when I see other people do it, they get straight back on track. But with us, it takes forever to get back on track. We're now miles behind. Absolutely miles behind as a result. Right, Ocon's race is done. I, I swear that guy is just... Cursed at his home Grand Prix. I swear he is. And Ferrari just gained a place. He did such good work to get past his teammate as well. Uh, sorry, not his teammate. He's that, that Ferrari, I should say. He did such good work to get past him. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Can we stay in front of the red ball, though? Probably not. It's a bit bunched up here. He is a bit bunched up like here. Oh, I'm going to deploy some position. energy, actually just to try and get that done and then we're going to get the ERS and there we go that's nice right we're, we're going to be fighting at the front Ocon so far behind the poor sod he's got to basically drive this car like a maniac to try and get back in the race um bit of me he's thinking about changing his strategy how long would the hard tyre last 50 odd laps like a bit of me is thinking about maybe bringing him in and just throwing the hard tyre on taking the hard tyre as long as that can go and then um, yeah going as, as long as it can go and then just throw the soft on when we think it's giving out a little because we're going to have a fresh soft basically available to us but drama drama inside these first few laps right i'm gonna i'm actually gonna bring ocon in 
I'm going to stick him on the hard tyre. And I'm going to run it for as long as possible. Because we're, we're, we're not really catching up. And I think that we maybe just need to try something a bit different. Something a bit extreme. So yeah, I'm just going to bring him in. Run the hard tyre. And then throw the soft on right at the end. And see if we can make that work for us basically this might seem like a strange strategy but with the mistake and being right at the back it really isn't going to hurt is it he's like 30 odd seconds behind there um and yeah we'll just literally run him on this strategy right to the end of the grand prix basically um and we're just going to concentrate on carlos signs and see if we can get the job done up front um obviously we're going to be prone to drs attacks and whatnot but um yeah, that is just what it is on the French Grand Prix, unfortunately. It's one of those things. It's a tough race to get through. Right, um, Ocon, unbelievably, has just set the fastest lap of the race, but I think a lot of that is because he's back there on his own. He's actually made up almost 10 seconds over about five or six laps, I think. No, maybe a bit more than that. When did I bring him in? Yeah, maybe about nine or nine or 10 laps, actually. But he is closing them down. And what I'm wondering is, there's high, hard tyre runners back there. And if he could close those hard tyre runners down, then we might be in a really, really good spot for when we potentially do throw that soft tyre on. He's going to have very weak hards. I'm going to be running the hards like quite far. And then throwing the softs on sort of with about... I don't know, 12 laps to go at most because we're taking we're only taking the medium 22 laps. So we've got to think about this. It's, it's, it's got quite strat strategic, really, where Ocon's race is concerned to try and salvage something from it. But I felt like if we were just going to run him on the same strategy as, um, as, as signs, it isn't going to work. He's so far behind that he needs a bit of help. So we need to try something different. Sainz's tyre, to be fair, isn't looking that great but we have just entered the pit window so but everyone's tires looking about the same actually Leclerc's is is actually worse off but it's very much Perez and signs that are kind of going for it um at the front of the uh of the grid at the moment um so yeah there, there kind of is that um what we have to be careful of is obviously the Red Bulls getting the uh getting the toe under the under the um What's the name? The DRS zones. Because they can fly by with the same car, basically. And it's it's tough to then get back in front. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's interesting. I'm going to see when these guys come in. I generally think we could probably run this tyre a little longer than if we wanted to. But I think uh, the minute they kind of show their hand, I'm going to up it on the fuel and I'm going to up it on the tyre as well. I think whatever happens, I think next lap I'm going to push. Um, and, uh, yeah, go from there, basically. Uh, see if we can get away. I think that would be, be really helpful to our race. But, um, but, yeah, poor old Ocon at the back of the grid just kind of running along, any on his own. But... Oh, did someone run wide there? Uh, not much we can do uh, as far as intervals are concerned because I ain't really been looking at this we're actually five seconds to fifth place Gasly he was the he was the driver that was running on the hard tyre um, and he's got Norris Ricardo. Um, I don't know what the IWA name actually is but uh, yeah they're all running together so I'm actually going to push the fuel and I'm going to go quite aggressive on the tyres because we're probably going to come in next lap so I want to try and you get some pace in this um because if we can stay in the lead going into the pit stops then we will be first in and it's all about whether the pit crew can actually get it done um and so then it's on on them at the end of the day so yes very much micromanaging again aren't we back to back to that point but yeah, we are under fueled still, but I feel like we can definitely push the fuel should we want to. They're all in. They're all in. Leclerc stayed out, but they're all in. So that's interesting. So we're going to go onto the hard. So this is all about maximising 
this lap and really really getting all the pace we can out of it so yeah this is all about maximizing this lap try not to lose too much uh, in it we go around this corner around a bit more and then onto the straight we're going to go with the ERS we're going to push at every every opportunity we can now in this lap before we go in for our pit stop we're going to push again all the way around this very very uh, fast section and then as it snakes on round we're going to ease off of that and we are now going to balance everything out and hope that we built up enough of a lead to keep us out in front with that one lap i don't know if we did but we are going to find out ocon is actually p18 he's made some uh, spots up we've gone behind gasly oh my god leclerc leclerc jumped us leclerc jumped us it's unbelievable and oh leclerc is now in the lead i did all that work getting in front of verstappen getting in front of perez only for leclerc to jump us in the pit stop we've made a big big error in the pit stops there let's get this job done get past this bloke and then we can concentrate on catching Leclerc up. Because that's basically where we're at. And we're going to be challenged here by Verstappen. And that's not going to be good if he gets past us. We really do need to keep ahead of him. Yep. Just use the ERS. Use the ERS again. Oh my god, he's going to go past us, isn't he? No, he isn't. Have we let... Oh, we're more than a second away. That's the issue here. Leclerc managed to like really really get ahead I can't believe that both Red Bulls have managed to get ahead it's unbelievable that that's where we've race. ended up it was actually a relatively good pit stop in my opinion it really was it was a really good pit stop in my opinion and he's been held up but Leclerc's been held up by a, a horse here it's actually helped uh, a little bit because it's kind of dragged us back into the fight um Ocon's 19th. Oh, they've run wide. Right. This is interesting. This is interesting. I didn't see this happening. There's lots of cars here kind of in the way. Um, going to deploy energy. See if that helps us. And hopefully, hopefully we can get back into this one. Right. We've had a yellow flag wave, dear. I don't know if it's a big accident, safety car. Oh, we're going to lose a place to Perez. What is going on? Why has our pace gone out the window all of a sudden? We are just crap. All of a sudden, we've got zero pace in this race. And it is ridiculous. And I, I just cannot recover any pace at the moment. We're really struggling to get past all these cars that are, like, so far down the grid. We literally have nothing about there. us. We've got, They've like, so place. much. We're underfueled hugely because we're getting stuck in the kind of slipstream of other cars and whatnot. We've got a few cars coming in now. All these Looks hard like tyre runners Martin are going to be coming in. But, yeah, we're really struggling because we're stuck behind these bloody cars that are, like, really slow. And we're effective P3, I think, as things stand. I think. Verstappen's got ahead, so Verstappen's going to run away now because he's managed to get past these sodding slower cars. But yeah, it's a joke. We just need them all to pit and get out of the way because they're really affecting this race at the front. And um, yeah, we're having problems getting past these cars. And the Red Bulls all of a sudden seem like they have got unbelievable amounts of pace on this hard tyre. I don't know where it's come from. But it's mad. Um, we just can't seem to keep up. We can't seem to get anything done. I'm using ERS. I'm really, really trying my hardest to try and, um, you know, make make a difference and, you know, get past some cars. But, you know, Verstappen's up to eighth now and he's, he's going to start running away. He's going to start getting a bit of a lead here because we've been stuck behind a bunch of cars towards the will eventually be towards the back of the grid. So, yeah, it's a nightmare situation that we find ourselves in at the minute. Um, really, really struggling for pace. And we just can't get the job done. We just cannot get the job done. If we can get past this red ball, then, yeah, then we, maybe we might be able to make some inroads on the cars ahead. But it's just about getting past that red ball. 
and then we are going to have a chance here. I'm going to just deploy energy, I think, and just see if we can get past both of them with the energy. And I think we might, you know. I think we might get that done. Uh, I think we might get one. Might get one, and then we might get the other one here with some DRS, maybe. Nope, not quite. We're actually effective P2. We're actually effective P2, but Verstappen is pulling away because he got past all these cars so much easier than we have. Um, it's actually been a real joke trying to get past them all. That's a problem. Uh, we really need to a get a wriggle on now and try to catch up Verstappen, who is miles up the road. How far is he? Three seconds up the road. This is Verstappen's race to lose. All of a sudden, these teams have started working their way back into this season. We we are we are really struggling all of a sudden, and I and I don't know why. Right, I'm just kind of looking at Ocon at the minute, right? So, good job. I'm wondering whether once they pit to try and hammer it for a lap. And, and maybe go on the medium. Kind of treat it like I was pitting off a of hards onto the medium. You know? So I might actually go a bit more aggressive on the tyre for a bit. And Mercedes see how I get on. And then, yeah, look, because Norris is pitting now. But we've still got life in this. No, actually, we could just go aggressive. Take it to about 40-odd percent. They managed to get in and out. They managed to get in and out. That's where. That's how far back we were. Yeah, Ocon's not scoring points. Yeah, it's really that simple. Ocon isn't scoring points in this race. Um, Signs. Where is Signs now? He's P4, but there are still cars up there, and we've managed to drag Verstappen back in because of all this fighting that's going on. So that's really, really good, and. There's a yellow flag. And we might even get past Verstappen here. Let's just deploy a bit of energy and see if we can get it done. We're all stuck behind a very, very slow Williams all of a sudden. Uh, yeah. Oh, it was Ocon that run wide. Brilliant. Brilliant. So I've tried to push the pace with Ocon and then he's ruined it. Right, can we get that done? Can we get that done? If that Williams stays out there, we potentially have DRS on him. So Ocon didn't really lose any positions. But can we get this done? We're going to have the DRS. But will we be brave and will we go past? No, we're going to let the Red Bull take advantage. Why do we do that where we just sit behind the cars in front? Be braver. Use the DRS to your advantage. Get past them. You know, use everything you've got. Deploy. Come on. Get this done. Yes, if we get it done and Verstappen doesn't. Ah, he did get it done. Right, it's going to be a straight shootout then. Be a straight shootout by the looks of things between Aston Sainz and there. Verstappen. And we place. have got a lot of fuel to make up in these closing 20 laps. Right, it's probably time to bring Ocon in. Um, oh, I nearly picked the wrong person then. Yeah, Ocon. And I'm going to fry him onto a set of soft tyres. I am going to push the fuel for the remainder of the lap. I'm actually going to stick with Ocon um, while we do this. And uh, yeah, we'll just burn off a bit of fuel. And uh, Signs is running all right up in the lead, but he's got loads of fuel to recover. We're going to be in a, we're going to be in a, a, a dodgy situation, I think, when, uh, when it gets to it. So yeah, we'll balance that out and we'll take that. And then we're going to bang a soft on and uh, yeah, let's see what we can do on this soft. It's going to be about 14 laps on the soft. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see what, what we can do. There are a few others down here that have decided to do the same thing. But we were in such a torrid situation with him that we had really no choice but to try and roll the dice and see what we can make happen. He's, he's going backwards. He's going backwards because of the pit stop. He's all the way back. In 19th again. So, yeah, to be fair, we didn't really make up too much ground. I am going to just push his fuel for a little while. Um, if we run out in front with signs, then we should make fuel up, but we won't if we're following. That's the that's the issue we're going to have. So, yeah, there is that to consider. Right, Russell, all of a sudden, <laughs> is, uh, is in the fight. And 
he's on a medium tyre, so I actually think Russell is the one to really, really worry about, to be honest with you, gang. Uh, he's going to be a problem for the rest of this race. I can tell you that much. Uh, Ocon on that soft tyre is doing a pretty good job. He's managing to catch people up and whatnot and overtake a few cars as well, which is good. Um, let's deploy the energy for a bit of help here because they're going to be really quick, these two cars behind us. And um, it will just drop that back. But yeah, Russell's going to be a problem, a real problem in the DRS, uh, in the ERS zones and the DRS zones. A um, bit worried about that, a bit worried about that. I'm going to be honest with you. Would seem that strategy was the be better play, having the faster tyre towards the end, because I don't remember Russell being anywhere near the front initially. But Leclerc's gone backwards, Perez has gone backwards. Um, and Russell just went flying off the racetrack. I don't know if anyone else see that. Uh, there's a yellow flag as a result. I'm going to show you it, but I kind of see him go flying off. Look at this. Oh, he just spins and it, it and uh, he's lucky he doesn't touch the wall. We had to get back on the track. Um, that's given us a bit of breathing room, which is good. That's given us a little breathing room. Norris and Gasly are competing for um, P3. Right, let's, uh, let's get this done. Let's get this done, if we can. Doesn't look like we're going to, does it? We're on a bloody, we're on a soft tyre and he couldn't get past him. Unbelievable. Yeah, that fuel is a, is an issue. That fuel is an issue. Because it's not coming back to us. And there's a big old crash. Several cars. And it's been red flagged. The race has been red flagged. Oh my God, I need to see the crash. That's mental. Right, watch this. There's Schumacher. Oh wow, oh it's a free car crash, that's unbelievable, wow, this is, this is immense, right, we're actually first, we're first, oh I'm going to get the, all the fuel sorted aren't I, uh, right, so, is, who's this, signs, just stick the soft on, and then we'll put a fresh soft on, Ock on, and yeah, nice. Um, I didn't do some stuff. I didn't race, do some stuff. We are all set oh no 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 no! I need to pause more. this. I need to pause this. I need to pause this because we're going to be in trouble. We're going to be in trouble. And it's lights we're going to be in trouble. And away we go. Oh, I should have took some fuel out of the car. Should have took some fuel out of the car. We are going to be able to fly because they've got very, very crap tyres on. And we're going to be able to keep these engines turned you can up. Use energy. Use energy. You can use energy. But we've got a lot of fuel on board. I should have taken a lap's okay. fuel out. That's what I should have done. But we are going to be able to go for this. We are going to be able to go for this. Is this a way for Ocon to work his way back in? Because I think I can drop that in. I'm going to leave this for a bit. Um, come on. Just burn all that fuel off. It's two laps of fuel, basically. So we can just have the engine turn up the max for a couple of laps to burn it all off. See if we can pull out a gap. Right. Ocon. Trying to get the job done. Right, deploy that energy. Use it all, just on this, and then we'll go back into neutral because I have used quite a lot. I had it turned on for the whole lap. But right, Ocon's up to P12. Wow, a red flag there is is insane. That's insane. Um, come on, Ocon. Let's see what we can do. Signs. Yep, the gap's quite nice, so I can concentrate on Ocon for the minute. Ocon's got a lot of fuel on board. <laughs> wow. Um, around the windy section. And then I'm going to deploy. 
around here, get the drive. He does get the drive. Fastest lap so far. Probably ain't gonna have much battery for the rest of the race. Oh, well, right, oh, signs. What is that gap? It's oh, it's not a second. It's not a second. I'm not pulling away fast enough. Uh, don't know if DRS is active. Don't think it is just yet. Right. Okay. It might be. Don't know. Don't really seem to have the pace, and I think that is just because we're overfueled. We're really overfueled. There's only a few laps to go. Right, we're gonna oof, bang this the the, the uh, ERS on. There we go. Yeah, DRS is active. That's what's uh, that's what's keeping them honest. I think is the fact that we do have DRS. Ocon's up to P10. I would love to be able to pay more attention to Ocon, like but we we're trying to win this race. Right, go back to standard. Keep those tyres a bit better. Uh, Ocon. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to do much for Ocon, unfortunately. I really, really need to concentrate on this at the front. Because we're going for this. Where is Ocon? Uh, yeah, I, I think there's just too much for Ocon to get past, personally. Alright, we're going to be going into the last lap, aren't we? So I'm actually going to go aggressive on these tyres. Because there's only one more lap after this one. Yeah, Ocon's up to P9. Oh my god, if only I didn't have to concentrate on this. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Man, Ocon's doing a fantastic job. Right, let's uh, deploy energy. Got to stay ahead if we can. Last lap. There we go, come on. Come on, Signs. Come on, Signs. Let's get this done. Oh, he's so close. He's gonna have. He's gonna have. Uh, he's gonna have the advantage. He's gonna have the advantage around here. I'm just gonna have to turn this up. Come on. He's gonna get DRS. He's gonna get DRS. We need to stay ahead. We need to stay ahead, and we do. I don't know where the other DRS zone is. I think it might be this bit here. If we can get through the windy section in front of him. We're gonna be fine. Ocon's up to P8. Ocon's going to get a point as things stand. That's incredible. Right, I'm just going to use the rest of this energy. Just use the rest of this energy. He gets it across the line. He's going to win the Grand Prix. We have low yes! Get in there! Ocon, what are you doing with your life? And Ocon's going to finish in P8. That's an incredible recovery. An incredible recovery from Ocon, it really is. And to win the race with signs is amazing. Look, I think we might have won anyway. The, but the red flag, it, that has done an unbelievable job for Ocon. What a fantastic result for Carlos Sainz. This podium is a remarkable achievement for the whole team. And with that, the science name remains engraved in F1 history. And after all that hard work, surely it's time for them to enjoy this moment. Two things to take from that. Ocon, fair play, round of applause, incredible to get a point. Um, 
but I have to remember to take fuel out of the car under a red card. I, ha I have to remember to do that under a red flag. I keep forgetting about it. Um, a bit of a gap has now been pulled out between Sainz and Ocon, and the gap between Verstappen and Ocon has been closed. It's a little worrying, um, but we did pick up some good points in the, in the race weekend. The same amount of points as Red Bull. So, yeah, there is that. Red Bull pulling out a small gap to Ferrari, but we are very much in control at the top of the Constructors' Championship. And so that brings this episode to an end, my friends. I really appreciate you all joining me for it. Another race win, and we're still sitting pretty at the top of that Constructors' Championship, which is great to see. I am starting to worry a little bit about Ocon, though. His form is a little off. He had some pace towards the end there, but I still think that his form uh, is slightly off uh, as far as I'm concerned. But, um, yeah, do join me for next episode where we take on the Hungara ring where we've had some very very good races uh, in the past but uh, until then subscribe if you're new drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it be sure to big up the series in the comments as well if you are enjoying it my friends but until next time stay safe stay humble and I'll see you real soon